Although Santoya Brown admitted to killing 43-year-old Johnny Allen, not much has been said about the Antioch realtor. At the time, it's believed that Allen solicited her for sex and took her home where she shot him in the back of the head and fled after robbing him. The defense said it was because she was a victim of sex trafficking and feared for her life. Today, Anna Spurlock Whaley, the spokesperson for Johnny's family, spoke exclusively with News Channel 5 and said the family refuses to believe that. Absolutely not. There's no proof of that whatsoever. No, all we know is Centoya's version of the story and not Johnny's, and I don't believe it. There's no proof of that. No, I do not believe that. So why would Centoya shoot an innocent man? For robbery, to steal from him. Johnny's hands were like this. I think Johnny was begging and pleading for his life. Whaley says something good might have already come from this tragedy. I hope in my heart um, God has changed her life. Um, I feel Johnny was trying to help her that night. Johnny lost his life, and in the end, I think Johnny ended up saving Centoya's life. She would have died on the streets of Nashville if she continued on, if she had not gone to prison. So. I think Johnny ended up saving her life anyway. Whaley says she'll never stop defending her friend, Johnny Allen.